Good morning to you. It must be 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this beautiful Wednesday, the 17th day of February. I'm your host, Brandon Hardison, for another Hardison's Tip. We do this for all of our brothers and sisters who happen to be in the major key market arenas, up and down the street, retail sales, in-home sales, and naturally automotive sales. And picking up from the last video, we were talking about how sales training can create a buzz on the showroom floor. About 81 million cars were sold worldwide in 2018. No two buyers or two sales were alike. That's because budgets, backgrounds, wants, needs vary from person to person. Each sale is more than the price of the car. Being a car is an emotional decision. And when we want to buy it because we see it mentally in our driveway on trips, it's going to happen. The way people feel about your dealership, the car, the salesperson, and the price affects the sale. A rule of intensity for the salesperson can kill a deal under a minute. And here's what I mean. If your lot isn't pleasant, customers will leave. Sales staff must be appropriate as far as the dress, looking professional, pushing value, pleasant, uh, trustworthy to some standard of measure. If they can do all those things, then people will come to your dealership. When people come, they want to enjoy the visit. What a bigger share of the growing car sales market would be if we could keep every guest with a outstanding experience. Well, here's some things that we can do. Know your product. Yes, it's important to know, but a car is a major purchase. The buyer doesn't want a fast talking salesperson to convince him to buy. They want to discuss the vehicle with a knowledgeable person. If you have a new salesperson, they need time to learn each of the vehicle. Tell them to take notes, ask questions, role play, then confer with someone else in the dealership to see if you're getting the right answers. It's important to say, I don't know, but if you give me time, I will find out about it. Along with knowing individual car facts, every salesperson should know the current inventory. So be ready to offer different choices to a car buyer that doesn't like the first selection that you put out. Be friendly, be positive. When you meet a potential buyer, make eye contact and offer a firm handshake. Let people know that you're happy to meet them and help them. Be sincere. If you are a fake or a phony, people will know it. Be enthusiastic that you have a customer who wants a vehicle. Make no exceptions. Never make negative comments about your competition. Please don't do that. If a shopper says that they've had a bad experience in another dealership, don't pile on. Listen with care to see if you can resolve any issues that they did at the other dealership. But you can only do that by being a true professional consultant, by being friendly, positive with your coworkers too. Always listening instead of talking. Everyone knows someone who purchased a vehicle, but befriend people in every department at your dealership because ultimately they're gonna come back and you're gonna need their help to get a deal done. So the sales staff, the technicians, the service writers, the people at the cashier, the parts people, office staff are all part of the sales team. Keep in mind that a happy workplace atmosphere reflects on the dealership as a whole. It's very important. We will cover more of this tomorrow. So on this beautiful Wednesday, February the 17th of 2021, 
heart is in its tips. It's over for the morning. You get up, you get dressed, you go out, and you make it a champion day.